everyone, today is a super quick little video. I wanted to show you how I batch print and cut and put my uh, pictures into the pockets when I'm trying to catch up with Project Life. So just now I'm showing you my 2018 Project Life album. Um, I have scrapbooked up until May 2018 in this album. So <laughs> I'm a year and a half behind guys. It's a bit ridiculous. Um, this was the last spread in that album. So I am starting from the beginning of June and I recently had all of my photos printed. Um, and as you can see here, I have got stacks and stacks of photos that arrived. Um, so on my computer, I pick which uh, pictures I want to print and I send them all to my phone and then I make collages of the ones that I want to print at three by four. So I just put two photos on a four by six collage um, and then the rest of the ones that I want to print at 4x6, I just leave them as they are. And I use either Snapfish or DS Color Labs to print my photos. Um, somebody asked me the other day how I decide what size to print the photos. And honestly, I just go with whatever I feel like at the time. Um, so you'll see here that I do have some larger photos. These were from uh, December last year of my mum's birthday and um, some Christmas presents. And then I also had some four by four photos of some Disney trip pictures, as well as all of these 12 by 12 photos. So the majority of these will go in my travel album, apart from these ones, obviously of the dogs. Um, you can see I've got some Disney photos here. And then these ones are from our trip to Helsinki last year. And then these last ones are from our trip to Cornwall for the first time last summer. And they will go into my normal 2018 album. But my first step is that I obviously get the photos printed. I decide what size I want them printed at. And then when they arrive, I go through and I sort them into separate piles, depending on which album they're going to go into. So these 12 by 12 photos that I just showed you, um, I'm now going through them and deciding what album they're going to go into. So the majority of these I got printed for my travel album. And if you're interested in seeing my travel albums, you can head over to my Patreon if you're interested in becoming a patron. Uh, that is where I share the majority of process videos for my travel albums. I've recently started my Patreon up again and all of those process videos will be coming again very soon. Um, so as you can see, I'm just sorting them into separate piles. So these ones of the dogs last autumn will obviously be going into the 2018 album. I couldn't resist getting those printed at 12 by 12 because I love them so much. And these Disney photos will be going into my travel album. And I love this photo of Disney Illuminations. I was so pleased with this picture when I took it. And I love that that girl's Mickey ears got caught in it as well. So as you can see, I've just added those into my travel album. Um, I'm doing a specifically Disney themed album. So the Disney ones have gone into there. And um, the other ones have gone into my standard travel album. And like I said, you can see that on my Patreon. So now I'm having a little snack and I'm going through these stack of photos and I'm just looking at the album on my computer and making sure that the photos are all in the correct order. Um, ordering the photos, making sure that they're in chronological order. That's probably one of the steps that takes the longest in this whole process when you batch print photos. Um, but it's worth doing because it means that I can then go through, I can trim all of the photos at once and I can start putting them straight into the pockets knowing that they are all in the correct order. Um, some people don't scrapbook chronologically and that's absolutely fine but I am definitely a chronological scrapbooker. I love that things are in the right order. <laughs> um, I like to be able to look through and know that they are all in the order of how they happened. Um, and as you can see, I'm left with a huge stack of photos once I've put them all in order from lots of different events of last year when we moved house and days out with the dogs and when I went to a scrapbook retreat and everything. And I literally printed off all my photos from June until December and they are now all in the correct order and ready for me to chop. So that's what you can see that I'm doing here. So all of the four by six ones, I'm obviously leaving as they are, but those ones that I wanted at three by four, I'm just going through and I'm chopping them all in half um, and chopping some of that border off around the edge so that they're left with a thin white border, um, but not, you know, super chunky and they'll fit nicely in the pockets with a backing card. Um, I always print my photos with a white border now. I never used to. 
I don't really know why it's something that I started doing. Um, if you look back at my travel albums, I, I haven't always done it, but um, I started doing it a couple of years ago and I just prefer how it looks. So as you can see, they are now all chopped and I can go through and start arranging them. So I know I said I like for things to be in order, but basically I just meant that I like for things to be in the correct month. Um, I don't keep track of weeks anymore with my project life. I do project life by the month pretty much. And I don't mind on a spread if the photos aren't the, in the exact order of how they happened. I just arrange them until they look aesthetically pleasing to me on the page. Um, and this took a super, super long time to do the other night. It took me probably about an hour and a half to arrange all of these photos throughout the rest of the album. Um, I can be a little bit indecisive um, when it comes to my scrapbooking. It's something that I need to get better at for sure. Um, but I basically just went through and I popped the photos into the page protectors in the spots that I thought looked best for each month. Um, and I added a few into inserts as well when I had too many photos for a spread. Um, and that's what I'm about to show you now. So you can see that I've added all of my photos in. There's a couple of inserts. I had to get a little bit creative with some of the inserts and make some of my own because apparently I've run out and I didn't realise. Um, and you can see there's lots of gaps for journaling cards and filler cards as well. Um, some of the spreads are a little bit busy um, with lots and lots of photos, but I wanted to keep this year to one album and keep it as simple as possible and just get it done. So the next stage would be to go through and add backing cards and papers in each spread. Um, some people will do that as they go and that's fine, but I like to do it um when I finish this step of putting all of the photos into the page protectors and then I know that it is all ready to go as soon as I'm ready to scrapbook. So I know that the lighting is really rubbish here but I did just want to show you that by the end of that night I had actually gone through and I had added paper and journaling cards to the entire album um, and like I said you don't need to do this straight away but I just like to do it because then I know that there is something in the album that is 100% ready for me to go and scrapbook if I want to as soon as the mood strikes me and that's when I find that I am at my most creative um, when I know that there is something completely ready to go um, and these papers might get moved around these photos might get moved around but at least that it is a jumping off point you know and the album in a couple of hours went from being less than half full to now being full of memories ready to go as soon as I want to scrapbook so I really hope you enjoyed this video guys if you have any questions let me know and I will see you next time bye